quickly before the tutorial starts be sure to go check out my the top three entries in my editing contest from uh, Favly, ML and and Robs they made absolutely great entries and I guaranteed them a shout out and plus these guys are amazing editors so be sure to go check them out yo what is up guys it's OC God here today with a tutorial on how to do TV simulators so let's go and get straight into this um, I'll show you an example right now um, it's probably on screen right here in front of you uh, you can sort of see how it's applied and, uh, and how I apply it into edits so let's go ahead and get straight into this so I already have my song I picked XXX Tentacion that guy has been I picked him because he's been on fire lately so let's just go ahead and get straight into this all right let's go ahead and first of all um, let's go ahead and first of all disable resample and then now we'll sync it so give me a second uh, I might skip this part Okay, I am back. So it's already all synced up. Um, I might end the gun sun later. I might add it in later. So let's go ahead and leave our track right there ready. We'll go ahead and add in some velocity syncing. I already have a tutorial on this, so go check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. And plus, I do it in every single tutorial. So if you check any of my tutorials, you should go ahead and be able to get this down. So first of all, four markers like that are like simple. I put two markers in the middle, turn this down to about 17, um, left side slow, or, uh, no, my bad, left side fast, right side slow. We should go ahead and get it s uh, a fast and slow motion fast. It should be about perfect. And then we can move this a little bit to the middle, I guess, so that we can look a, bit of, a little bit more synced. Um, I wonder if I went too far with this. Just going to take a quick review. No, I'm. I think I'm good. Okay, might be off a bit off sync, um, but it, it's not really that big of a deal. I accidentally added in one shot on accident. It might look a bit bad, but um, the tutorial is still going to be there. So let's go ahead and get our TV simulator. It's already a bit synced up our TV simulator right here you put reset to none we animate first keyframe nothing goes right here quite yet basically what we're going to be messing around with the most is vertical syncing so let's go to the end of the clip Let's go ahead and go a couple spaces back. Let's go ahead and go about the half of the clip. Um, so, right here is is basically where we're gonna start. It's gonna start going upwards. So we create a keyframe right there. We leave that on a million or a thousand, and then we go in front at the last keyframe, and we put this up to about. 3,000, 4,000 around there. You put the first keyframe on slow, and then you put the last one on fast. And you should get a result something like this. And it just comes out so smooth. It just comes out so smooth. So, as you can see right there, it just it just comes out always really smooth. But just don't add this too many times. Add it like once in an edit, and it'll keep it like with the flow. So we can go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly sync this real quick so that way you guys can get the feel for how it is when when it finally comes out. And this should be fi your final result. Just looks very nice. Okay. And for my other type of C TV simulator, which I'm about to show you. Um, wait, first of all, let's go ahead and add in some uh, S shake. S shake always looks so great on these type of TV simulator effects. Well, it always looks great on everything, so I'm just going to put in this S shake. You put that onto your composite, and you guys can go in and copy off these settings. They're pretty good settings for S shake. Let me take a look at that, and then it should come out just about perfect. So. I might render this part and then I'll show you my other type of TV simulator. Okay, 
Okay guys, I'm back to show you the second example of what you could use TV simulator, TV simulator with. So, right here I already got the clip again. So I'm just going to use the same exact clip. Don't really feel like uh, getting another clip right now. So, let's go ahead and get to uh, another shot basically. Let's go ahead and change it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and go to this shot. Uh, nah, nah, I think I'm just going to utilize the first shot. I mean, screw it, man. I might add in the velocity sync later, so... Basically, the most important part is here. Um, I'll show you an example on the screen right now, what I sort of, sort of want to show you on this part. Take a look. So, as you can see, like, I, I, like, got a shot, and the sound went all, like, you know, sort of, like, underwater, and... And the screen was like black and white and stuff like that. So that's basically what I just want to show you. And plus there was TV simulator and all that. So I'm going to show you that right now. So basically for the underwater sound effect, um, you had to split the song on the beats. And once you split that, you go ahead and go to audio event. I mean, I'm going to go very slow for the beginners. Right click, go to audio event effects. And from here, take smooth and enhance you add it in click OK and you go down to minus 5 and you'll get the result in the audio and if you hear it yourself it'll be like underwater sort of so I'm gonna go ahead and add in real quick some stuff um, I think I'm gonna add in some Twixter. If you didn't see my Twixter tutorial, go check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Might skip. Okay guys, I am back. Added in the Twixter already. And yeah, you can go ahead and check out. Just go ahead and check out the Twixter tutorial. It's a quick tutorial, so let's go and get straight into this. So the first thing I add in is, sorry for this, um, I'm going to go ahead and add in some TV simulator, I'm going to show you what I do real quick with this uh, stuff. Sometimes I like to add in a bit of uh, linear, uh, line sync, add in a little bit interlace, and that will basically give it uh, a bit of a different feel. So I'll go ahead and show you again the, my settings. There they are. Line sync and interlace I use. And then I add in some black and white. Uh, I sort of turn down this a little bit. And yeah, it comes out pretty nice. It's nice to finish off an edit always. I always add in these kind of effects to finish it off. Twixter, uh, TV simulator and black and white I use. You guys can obviously make it a lot better with your time, but this is just a quick tutorial to go and show you guys how it's done. Let's go ahead and fade it out a little bit. That's about it. All right. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, make sure to subscribe for more. Um, I'll try coming out with more tutorials. I've just been uh, a bit busy lately with some school. So I'll just leave some suggestion, guys, and see ya.